Hi everyone, uh, I'm Shivani and I know it took me a while to make this video but I've been crazy busy. This is one of our challenging terms and it's a crazy schedule. Plus then I have team meetings, uh, homeworks, assignments. Oh, it just adds on to it. It doesn't feel like it's the second week of classes. Like, no. Uh, but um, I guess this term is going to be sim like this. But don't worry, next term is co-op. So after four months, there'll be continuous videos and hopefully more informative videos. Until then, keep messaging me on Facebook or you could just post it on my wall. Um, the topic you would like to listen, uh, you would want me to talk about for the next vlog. Um, also, the link to the Facebook can be found. Uh, my Facebook page can be found in the description below. So that's where you can send me a message or just post it on that wall. Uh, or yeah. And don't forget to subscribe and like the Facebook page, yada, 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 you know that. And I know you probably have done that already. And don't forget to like the video if you like it. Um, that was too early to say that. <laughs> Never mind. I'll also, most likely I'm not going to edit this video because I don't have the time to edit a video. Video editing takes time. Um, but today to today's topic is about housing. And... Um, Yes, hopefully you'll like it and hopefully it's going to be informative. So, <clears throat> if you're a first year student, I highly recommend you live on campus. <clears throat> it's a different experience in itself and you meet so many more first year students. So, like for me, being an, like even if you're an international student in particular and you don't really know anybody, living on campus helps you know so many more people who are people like you. Like the, even though they are Canadians or whatever they are, they this is their first time doing university, you know? So it's there are similarities between your experiences and everyone's looking forward to making friends. So definitely recommend staying on campus. Um, also, <coughs> now I'll talk about um, housing. Like there are usually two styles of housing. One is um, dorm style housing and the other one is apartment style housing. I'll talk about apartment style housing first. It's basically like an apartment. So you would have seen apartments in your um, country. Uh, what it is, is like there will be three, four rooms in an apartment. And the people will have a common kitchen and a common washroom. And you can choose to have people of the same gender or different gender. Or like mixed, that's fine too. It, you can choose about that. That's apartment style housing. It's just like an apartment. Um... It doesn't have to be in a tall five, six, seven, eight, ten billion story building, but that's basically an apartment style. Dorm style. You won't find many dorm style housing, especially off campus. There aren't many. Um, mostly it's on campus, and when it's on campus, what they mean is that you will have a cafeteria, and you can get your food from there. You probably will not be allowed to cook your own meals. Now currently, I'm also li I'm living in an off-campus dorm style housing, and um, I think primarily why I found a dorm style housing was because this is a student housing. So if you find dorm style, it's usually associated with student housing, um, and it's like everything, like the entire floor shares a common kitchen, and uh, there are units of five rooms each with two washrooms. So it's basically like the entire floor shares everything, like you know everyone on the entire floor kind of thing. It's like apartment cell, but not really apartment cell. There's more interaction with people in other units, let's just say that. Um, so that's a very generic view. Um, what do I look for in a house when I go about looking for housing? Um, so first things first, I'm an international student and I'm in a co-op program so I keep moving every four months, excuse me, and I don't want to buy furniture. Even if it's like secondhand furniture, I just don't want to buy it because, yeah, I just don't like the hassle of it. If you're fine with it, go for it, but I personally don't like it. Um, so I try looking for sublets. Now what are sublets? Um, usually people can get one year contracts. And uh, not everyone is in school during all the terms. There are three terms, fall, winter, spring. Fall is, uh, and each term is four months long. Currently, it is the fall term. Now, 
say someone has to go on club during the winter term. Now, they can find a person to live in their place for that four month period. And that is basically sublet. Um, so I usually go for sublet because people leave their furniture in the house because most likely they're going to come back or whatever. They're kind enough to leave it. So I usually look for sublets. Um, then utilities. Um, utilities include hydro, electricity, etc, etc. I try to get them included in the rent if possible. Um, it's just convenient. It's not an additional cost. Like even if you go overboard, someone else is going to have to pay for it and not you because it's already covered in the rent. And so is the, so is the case with internet. I personally like places where internet is included in the rent, but that's not going to be the case all the time. Like currently it is not, but it's okay. Like it is preferable if uh, internet is included, but if it is not, it's all right. Um, what else do I look for in a place? In the location, in bus stops. I personally don't have a car. I'm not much of a biking person, like bicycle, cycling. So I personally like to go with buses everywhere. So I try to look for things where, which are close to buses, close to university if you're living on campus, or close to shopping malls or grocery stores, basically. So that's what I look for in the housing. Um, what else? Yeah, um, so fall term, m many people start their classes in the fall term, so it's very difficult to find a sublet in fall term. You usually would find one-year contracts. What I noticed this term, though, was a lot of sublets were coming at the very last moment, like a week before classes started. Now, that's like a panic time, too, so... If you think you can delay up to that time and you would want to wait for some time, like, you know, wait until a week before classes start to get a house, it's your choice. I personally would never do that. There's so much risk involved. What if you don't find a place? And the, and the rent in spring term, uh, in the fall term, is not really... It's quite expensive, like, especially if it's closer to the university. In Waterloo, it could go up to, like, six, seven hundred easily. Uh, 500, like 580, 570 is a good price if you're close to the university. Um, as you go farther away, the rent decreases significantly. Now, winter terms. Um, depending on the location, they might decrease the rent or they might in keep the So, when someone sublets, they have a choice of, uh, say, I have a place for one year contract and I pay... Five fifty dollars a month, a uh, month as my rent. Now, if I'm looking for a sublet for the winter term, I can probably say, and if I'm not able to find people, I can be like, I'll give my place for five hundred dollars a month. So I would pay fifty dollars per month from my side, but the sublet would have to pay. Subletty would be paying only um, five hundred dollars per month. So sometimes winter is usually easy to find a sublet. And it could be cheaper, too, because, yeah, it's just that way. Spring terms are the best. Uh, most people go to uh, are not in school during the spring term, but since we are in a co-op program, we never get a term off, so we're studying every term, or either working or studying. And when we come for spring term, there are very few people, so... People like decrease the rents like crazy. Like rents could go to like three hundred, three fifty dollars. That's how cheap they go, which is fantastic. It's like, like anything over four. Like if you tell me four twenty during a spring term, well, it seems quite expensive. But during a fall or winter term, that's like a great deal. So spring term goes drastically down and closer to the university. Further, you can easily find find places during the spring term. So that's great. Um, what else can I think of? Yeah. Uh, well, that's primarily what. Um, usually, people might ask you to pay a one month's rent upfront before you while you're sign before you sign your contract. It's just kind of like a security deposit kind of thing. Uh, make sure you read your contract. Make sure you sign a contract with the person. 
uh, and that's very important. Sometimes people might ask you for a reference. I personally have never been asked a reference, but people could. I think I was asked a reference once, but I did not take that place, so I didn't really have to give them a reference. It's basically that, yeah, I know this person, and it's a, he or she is a good person. That's about it. Oh, what else? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, um, hope you liked the video. Thumbs up if you liked it. Share with your friends. Don't be mean. Don't be a Scrooge. Share it with your friends. Um, again, don't forget to like my Facebook page to get updates on Facebook. The link can be found in the description below. Subscribe, etc., etc., etc. And bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.